And then I moved in, and then we got pregnant. We also had a new. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Um, I posted a Q&A box and the only questions I got were about Ben and I. <laughs> so I thought I could just bring Ben on for a video. He hates it. He's very reluctant, but we're gonna make him. Ben's really happy to be doing this, huh Ben? Really happy. I'm trying to get good lighting. I am to please. <laughs> okay, well, like I was saying before, all of the questions I got on the Q&A about our family were about Ben, because he's very elusive. Doesn't have an online presence. On purpose. <laughs> <laughs> so the first question we got was, let me see it here. How did you and Ben meet? So I want to hear your version first and then I'll tell my version. Um, we met through our shared love of the sport of volleyball. <clears throat> I think the first time meeting was probably at Thurston, I think. Thurston Middle School. Or court sports. Well, as far as like talking to each other, I oh. think it, that happened at Thurston. My version is that I played against him when we had a a work team that was terrible. Our work team was awful. And for some reason, they like convinced us to be up in the higher league because they didn't have room in the lower league. And we just got crushed every game. And Ben was um, one of the teams that crushed us and he showed no mercy. I think one of the scores was like six to 25 and he just kept crushing the ball at us. Like someone would pass it over and he would just crush it. And I thought, damn, he's kind of an asshole. It's true, I kind of am. <laughs> um, <laughs> if any of you have ever played against Ben, you know. Yeah, he, he's very competitive. His intensity level has his. fallen with his expectation level. He also talks in third person now. No, he doesn't expect too much. He just tries not to get hurt anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so I thought he was an asshole, but then after we were playing against each other at Thurston, Look what I, I was like, hmm, he's actually, he's actually kind of cute. I think I'll keep talking to him. And soon it was, I would only go to Thurston to play because Ben was there. One time I actually pulled in the parking lot because I was running late and I didn't see his car there. So I just turned right around and went home. Because mm. he was so cute. <laughs> And then the next question we got was, tell us about your love story. So that's how we met. Tell us about your love story. What is our love story? Our love story is one of unexpected surprises. Two of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, hold on. Okay, we're back. Anyway, so our love story. Um, what about it? <laughs> What's our love story? It's a story of just rolling with it. Just rolling <laughs> with it. Well, ask, let's tell about you asking me out. Well, she basically cornered me and, uh... <laughs> I did not! <laughs> no, I, I was attracted initially, you know, right from the get-go, but didn't pursue anything because she is like 13 years younger than me. Yeah, but you didn't know that. I could tell you were younger, of course. <laughs> Quite a bit, yeah. He you didn't were, know the extent of how much younger than I was. and I was almost 34 when we first started dating. So, I assumed you'd be immature, like a normal 21-year-old. Turns out she's pretty mature. Probably more mature than mm. you were. Yeah, I at least didn't have a mattress on the ground. 
<laughs> also true. <laughs> um. So anyway, after volleyball, I just kept talking and flirting and I don't know, eventually he was like, well, there was one particular night after volleyball, because at this gym we went to, we could sit around and drink beers afterwards, which was kind of the main part of doing it, really, just socialize mm -hmm. and destroy people on the court. <clears throat> but our team, <laughs> she hung around with her friend, and she was dolled up. Definitely caught my hot. attention. I was hot. <laughs> And so then we chatted and then I asked her out. First um, date was just, we went to Tower Ren initially and it was too busy, so we left. That has a thing with lines. I can't stand waiting. And so Which we, is so funny because the time it takes to get to the next restaurant is the uh, same probably amount of time it would just take to get to the table if we waited, but. Debatable. She was wearing a red dress, a little, a little red dress. So yeah. Um, what can I say? Anyway, uh, we talked about conspiracy theories and aliens. And what else? Mm, who knows, dude? It was, it was so almost eight ago. years ago. Anyway, he. Um, well, he definitely talked. About he came for the red dress, but he stayed for the conspiracy. What happened theory. in the front of your camera? Oh, I dropped it. Dirty boo. Oh, God. You wonder where Evelyn gets her aptitude for destruction. Anyway, so that summer, we had the best summer ever. I mean, it was so fun. We were going to Cuthbert shows. We were going, doing a bunch of stuff. We were wild and free and blah, blah, blah. We also had a day where I wrecked my bike. And then in a matter of five minutes <laughs> later, she wrecked her bike. We you, were both drunk, had no business on a bike. And she still has the scar on her foot to prove it. Yep. Yeah. But mine was like a slow motion fall. Yours was looking back at me because I was hot, probably. <laughs> Something like that. <gasps> something like that. And he fell over the front of the handlebars or something. Yep. And then five minutes later, I, I don't know, I was wearing flip flops on a bike don't recommend and got one of them caught and then just like fell onto the ground super slow too and she must have just dragged her foot on the <laughs> pavement was, like i said we were drunk had no business on a bike but anyway so we had a great summer and then i moved in and then we got pregnant so I, well we were together for maybe six months before i got pregnant with luna yep yeah. <laughs> we talked about this multiple times. I got really sick. I like I had the flu or something and was throwing up and I think maybe I, that happened. I threw up the pill. I don't know. But anyway. Happy little accident number one. Happy little accident <laughs> number one. And Okay. I don't know. Is that it? I guess that's it. That's our love story. We got pregnant and we had to stay together. <laughs> Speaking of love, here's my love shirt. It's a heart drawing a picture of itself. One thing about Ben is that he has a very intense t-shirt collection. Anyway, he, he's curated this collection for years and years and years. And it is quite extensive. Okay, next question. What is the hardest thing you've ever gone through as a couple? You can go first. Right now! 2020? This year Fuck. has been the hardest. I mean, yes, I would say that, but also the first year yeah, we were, after we got pregnant, We maybe? were struggling financially. Yeah. But at least I could go to the gym. Can't at least do, he had can't an outlet. Anymore. <laughs> yeah. This year has been really hard. Um, I had health stuff go on and was very depressed and anxious and just a basket case for the majority of this year. And Ben well, at least 
could go work out, but now he can't do that, so. Now I'm just stuck here with my kids. And me. I can handle you. <laughs> and I can handle the kids most of the time, but uh, there's some times when it's just a lot. Yeah. Sounds great. So there's really no winning. There's really nothing we can do yeah, here, anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, what yeah. are your What are your love languages? What is this? That's the language? That's one of the questions. What are your Mine are words of affirmation is like top top top. I need to hear compliments all the time. And I get attention all the time. <laughs> it's my toxic trait. Which I'm woefully inadequate in performing. It's okay. I hype myself up now. You do look rather stunning. Thank you. That's very sweet. Can you hear my love points going bleep, 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 bleep? My love language is for her to pick up her clothes and put them in her drawers. <laughs> That's, that is true. <laughs> Um, what else? What is your... I think when we did it, yours was acts of service, so, yeah. Service? Not service, no. And no, acts of service is, like, cleaning up after yourself. Yeah. Service implies you're doing it for me. You should be doing it for you. To have a nice, cleanish environment to live in. <laughs> and then our... Both of our second highest ones is physical touch. We're pretty good at that. We're good. We have <laughs> two things to provide. Uh, two sources of evidence. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> two things that are, are evidentiary in the process. <laughs> uh, some goals you have for the next five years. This was a good question. Uh, Survive. Maintain my sanity. That's a good one. Um, I want to be totally out of debt in five years. It's hard to really picture five years from now, if, in my humble opinion, because this look what happened this last year. Five years from now? Mm. What is the world gonna look like in five years? Be strapped with a bandolier and grenade launcher, and armored <laughs> car. Hopefully. Mad Max style in the streets. I just want a milking cow. Um, what else about us? Oh. What's your, what's your favorite thing about me? And I'll tell you what my favorite thing is about you. <laughs> my favorite thing is just your sweet, loving personality. You're a sweetie almost to a fault. She cares a lot. That's true, I do. She is a bleeding bleep. Yes. My favorite thing about Ben is that he is a constant source of reassurance and just like chill, keeps me grounded when I'm like doing, you know, crazy emotions and stressed out and anxious. And he's always just like, it's good, it's all good. He's always cleaning too. That is one of my favorite <laughs> things. He's a great cleaner. Yes, I'm a rare breed. I think, uh, you know, maybe it's just a stereotype that men don't clean, but maybe it's true, I don't know. This one does. I think you know I snatched that up real quick. Yeah, I think- So we defy gender stereotypes. We're starting to get into non-PC territory here. Okay, we'll just edit it out. I'm into salamanders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an amphibioid. That's hot. <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, okay. Mm. What's your least favorite thing about me? Take a guess. That she I... doesn't clean anything. I do clean. No, I don't. You I only do. clean when someone comes over and then you throw stuff in the closet. I'm very good at that. It's called <laughs> saving the problem for later. It's a problem solving. Yeah, she's a master delegator, I suppose. The leadership's good, mm -hmm. really. 
My least favorite thing about Ben. I don't know if I have one. Yeah. Sometimes he can be grumpy and I'm, I take grumpiness personally sometimes. Yeah. I can be grumpy. It's hard not to be grumpy these days. Yeah. Maybe I had an outlet for my masculinity besides cleaning and disc golf. I've been going to the gym since I was in seventh grade. And you know what? I am not gonna wear a mask here. So Kate Brown, if you're listening. Yeah. My husband wants to go back to the gym. Well, okay. It's just, uh, it's asinine to me. Yep. At least I've got my practice basket in the backyard. Yeah. And my pull-up bar, which I use occasionally. But anyway. Anywho. This video is sponsored uh, by water. I'm just about uh, tapped out on this. Oh, losing, losing the focus. Thanks for joining. Thanks for doing this. It's getting a lot harder Maybe to do Maybe we'll now. move somewhere where you can go to the gym. Maybe. We'll see. Stay tuned. Love you. Love you too, babe. <laughs> Bye! That was not fun for Ben, but he did it because he loved me.